Throughout this past year, barrel horse riders from across the nation have been competing to reach the finals of the National Barrel Horse Association's World Championship. It was held recently in Perry, Georgia, and the Monitor's Dustin Henderson was there. The tractors were busy clearing the dirt for the barrel horses at the 20th NBHA World Championship. I spoke with Lynn Carter, the marketing director of the NBHA, about the sport of barrel racing. We have riders from all around the country and uh, different parts of the world, to be honest with you. We have over 420 riders in our senior division, which is our over 50 age group, and over 950 riders in our open class. Not only is the NBHA World Championship a family-friendly sport to watch, it also brings the family together to compete with each other. Well, it's a, it's a family sport. I mean, you start this sport uh, very early in life, um, and we see it on up until we have a rider from our senior division. It's actually in his mid-80s that's riding today in the senior, uh, senior division. I started barrel racing when I was probably like two years old. Um, my dad, my uncle, my mom, my brother, our whole family does it. So basically, I just grew up doing it. I asked Lynn and Buddy Hall, an NBHA charter member, why riders choose to barrel race and what makes them come back each year. A horse and equestrian activities are, are a passion for a lot of people around the country and barrel racing is a grassroots group that like I said again is a family sport that all of them can take part in and be and be a part of and participate and compete at uh, in, in, a, in a format where all are able to win prizes and win uh, money um, uh, because of the divisional format that we have. Since 1992, I've qualified to go to the World Show every year except for 1992. Uh, oh yeah, and it's like a, a reunion for a lot of people. You get to see people you only get to see once a year. So, I love it. Every weekend, so I'm going somewhere every weekend. Passion and determination for barrel racing leads to great prizes for the champions. In our senior division, we'll crown five divisional champions on Friday evening in our final round for the seniors. And Saturday's Open Championship will also crown five divisional winners. Uh, prize money uh, in, its, in total will total over $290,000. Um, in addition to prizes and awards, uh, you're looking at about $350,000 total, uh, $350, uh, in total prize money and awards such as saddles and buckles and actually trailers that are given away by, by our trailer uh, sponsor, Four Star Trailers. So um, um, it's a very lucrative show, um, a lot of opportunity to win, uh, win money and prizes. Riders are able to spend some of that prize money at the trade show, which is one of the many events that everyone can enjoy throughout the week. Well, we also have our trade show, which is full of vendors, um, just like any trade show you would go to. Um, the multi-purpose building here at the facility houses those. Uh, any, anything you want to buy in the Western equine uh, discipline, you can find at our trade shows. After watching the senior division rounds, I wanted to know what makes a great barrel horse and if anyone can do it. Well, really, any horse. Any horse can be a barrel horse. Um, it's a matter of training and discipline and, and, and it's, uh, uh, it could be a, a pasture horse or, or, or any type horse, quarter horse, uh, you name it. Um, any, all horses are, are, are ridden as barrel, race, barrel racing horses. I think anyone can probably barrel race. It might take a little time to get the balance right and stuff, but I have friends that have literally just started recently and can win just like anybody else. For the Georgia Farm Monitor, I'm Dustin Henderson.